my mum. Knitting today. Uh, I'm just watching Alex. I've got my son's stream over there. My son's live as well. So I think it just probably pissed him off a little bit. But I'm like, dude, I've been streaming on Saturday nights for weeks. So months even. So, so, like, we, we, <laughs> we, so I've put it on and I'm lurking. So he... So you just searching... Yeah, he's on mute, so I don't have to listen to him. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody? If, Hope you are all okay. If I get kisses, kisses, Glasses. I want. I got kisses. <laughs> kisses. There. How is everybody? I hope you've been good. Are you all having fun? Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Yeah. And people. Good. Right. So, um, let's see. What news? What news? What news? What news? Um. What have you all been doing this week? We have news. We have news, don't we? I have been playing this fun game for months. That's not the news. It is. Star Wars. You can actually meet your characters all by I know. Well, aren't you gonna answer? Hi. Let's talk. Hi Doc. So right, um no, we they don't want to hear ourselves. Um okay. I'll watch Alex. For those that don't know, because I can't remember whether I've said or not, um Tuesday Callie's moving into her own house. Oh, uh, because we can't get the van on. We were hoping to move Monday, but when I phoned up to hire a van, they were like, we haven't got anything. So, okay. On Monday, <laughs> so we had to book it. So, um, yeah, Tuesday. Sh Tuesday. Tuesday, her and her hubby are moving into their first home together. Uh, I'm like, oh my God, this is brilliant news. So, hmm. And... I want to go meet Yay them for Tuesday. So we're we're on the we're on the scrounge for like white goods at the moment because where she's where she's like living in the big house, her and her Whoa! Hubby, shut up, fucking hell. Um, her and her hubby share a house with basically her her siblings, and that means it's it's shared. Everything is shared. You know the the kitchen and the bathroom is all shared. So she doesn't have a washing machine. The place doesn't even have a fucking cooker so <laughs> and i said oh well i've got a um an argos card for those of you in the states argos is a catalog store and you um it's a store card that allows you to pay in installments and quite often they do interest free deals on goods over certain prices so i said to her so i've got an argos card let's go and have a look so you know she picked the cheapest one which is good for her and um she was like you know how much is it and i said well if you get it with installation because she has to have electric that means it has to be wired in by a qualified electrician and i said well if you get them to do it it's you know x amount and she's around like, that month i said what be you know if you pay it in time it'll be so and so so she's like yeah yeah that's fine so we go through all the ordering it putting in an address and postcode and they're like yeah deliver it in two weeks it's like, fantastic then when it got to the actual pick your delivery day they're all grayed out as unavailable and I went like to the end of March I said that can't be right surely she, even she had it she was like I don't get it so then I went on via the app on my phone because they do an app as well and that said that there was actually an issue with the website it said we can't check stock or something or we can't do this right now so I'm hoping it's a glitch with Argos I'm going to try again tomorrow if I get the same sort of problem I'm gonna tweet them or call them or something. Yeah, hi. So Maybe we'll see. What have you been doing on all week? I've been put up with you. That's what I've been doing. No, I mean your life. <laughs> My life. Yeah. What have you all been doing all week? So yeah, we're uh, oh, we're ever hopeful that um, you know. I'm just watching my brother. We can get brother. her in and sorted and, and... My brother. Yeah, all right. But she's got a microwave. Um, you know, I've also said I've got a slow cooker she can have. You've been rebuilding your desk and setting up your workspace. Yay! Yay! Um, yeah, I've got a slow cooker she can have. There's, you know... 
there's ways and means around it so we're just sort of seeing at the moment i'm just watching my brother riding his yeah, horse right. he's a uh, he's playing valhalla <laughs> it is the best game ever it's when he is a girl. you ordered a sewing machine that is many dollars how 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 many zeros or do we not want to know whoa she Cash? Yeah, many dollars. Wow, nice. Nice. Dollar, dollar. Okay, um... My... Isn't it gorgeous? I got so carried away with it last night and I just kept going and going and going. I decided to go plain and it's so pretty. 724. Ouch. That was quite expensive. Uh, I'm just watching my brother. I paid like 120 pounds for mine. <laughs> and they're both single. <laughs> My brother's again. Right, you're going to say goodnight now and you're going to get lost. I'm telling them what... Yeah, but then, you know, you're going to use it, aren't you? So I use my sewing machine like once in a blue moon, and, and, or more often than not, it's for junk journaling. My brother <laughs> in the... Daryl! No! I don't want to talk about what your brother's doing. I don't care. Huggy. I want to watch my brother. Right. Daryl's going to bed now. Oh... Say night night chat. Good night. I want to Night Daryl. Night, night Daryl. Oh. Good night, Daryl. Good night. Go on. I just want to watch this. Go. Oh. It's never fair. With my brother doing day. Have you a guess of how my day has been? in a little bit so that I don't have to lean forward. It has all the things you want. Oh, sham. So would you advise for, you know, if somebody wanted to do quilting or working with like quite thick batting, for example, would you advise a specialist machine for that? Because I quite fancy some quilting. Your great niece is spending the weekend, then you know exactly how I feel. I want to kill him. Disclaimer, I do not want to kill my son. There's absolutely nothing wrong. I'm at the end of my tether this evening and I am very, 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 very pleased it is now bedtime. Before someone decides to report me for child endangerment or some such stupid fucking bollocks. I would love to get into quilting a bit, I think, you know. I'd love to make, like, Callie and Rob a, a, a quilt for their first anniversary or something. He's not a hard child. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> God, he's loved more than he bloody well should be, I think, sometimes. Mm. Kaz, pay attention. Did you ever see this? Isn't it awesome? I can't remember who bought it for me. I think Claire might have bought it for me. I got it. And I'll tell you something else I got as well. That's why I'm pretty sure she got or did Kelly buy that. Can't remember. Something else I got, which I think was the same Christmas, was um a needle gauge, but it's a TARDIS. It's really cool. And I learned today that my face itches a heck of a lot less when I'm wearing makeup if I put primer on first. I'm quite 
pleased with quite pleased with my makeup today. I took my time this morning. It's quite subtle. Hi Nelly. Oh, my poor nozzle. But I've learned, you know, that I need to um I need to um what's the word I'm looking for? use concealer because my glasses create shadows <laughs> as well as the big fuck off bags under my eyes um yeah so i need to use concealer under here to um counteract that i know about using a green doohickey sort of around because i've got quite bad psoriasis around here and on and on my chin as well which <laughs> is not one but there you go and i've been playing with highlighter hence a little bit of shimmer shimmer Doctor, you reference those? I don't know. So yeah, it's um, I'm going getting a little bit more confident. I'd love to have a go with um, contouring. That's the thing. But I don't know what colour to get. I have absolutely no idea on that because I'm I'm quite a pale. Well, I'm quite a paley when I match. You know, if I have no makeup on, I'm fucking red. I look like Farmer John. But <laughs> if I match to myself, then I'm actually quite pale. So I'm not quite sure what colour contour to go for. So, you know, because I don't know fuck all about makeup, really. But I'm learning. I'm learning. I've learned quite a lot. I watch, um, for anybody who's interested, I watch Pampered Wolf on YouTube. And, um... And, um, she's English. She's from up north. And it's great because I don't think she's much younger than me. So she's using makeup that's appropriate for over 40s and she also suffers from really dry skin. Um, she's got like really bad eczema. She's just had a really, really bad bout around her mouth. And when she took all her makeup off, it was like, whoa, that looks so freaking sore. But she was talking about what products she uses and not just to cover it, but to like moisturize it and all that and i tell you what i've probably watched 10 12 videos and i learned loads right i didn't know that you don't only need to match your skin tone you need to match your undertone right. <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this look these were my notes on how to match your undertone from listening to her because i was like i keep forgetting that so i wrote it down in the end <laughs> i'm a neutral neutral to cool undertone there you go. I didn't know that. I'd never heard of undertone before. Never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. You can be cool, neutral, warm, or combinations thereof. I'm a neutral leaning to cool because I've got blue eyes. Um, yeah. Um, if you have blue eyes, you're more likely to be a cool undertone. If you have brown eyes, you're more likely to be a warm undertone. Look at your veins in natural light, not like directly under the sun, but in like tomorrow, go and stand light in your kitchen or whatever and look at your veins. If they are more blue, you're cool. If they are green, you are warm. And if they're both green and blue, you're neutral. What was the other one? Um, if you tan easily, then you're likely to be warm. If you burn, you're more likely to be cool. And there was another one for neutral, but I can't remember what that one was um another one they said which to check which i thought was quite good was um check your jewelry yeah and this one is down to perspective yeah that's what i'm just gonna say if you think gold looks better on you then you are likely to be warm if you think silver looks better on you then you are likely to be cool if you like both and i wear both then you are neutral and another one that I was told, she said, get a white piece of paper. Yeah, piece of printer paper, but it's got to be white. Start again, go and stand in your kitchen in natural light. No, no, way and hold it against what you're matching to. OK, most of the time you match to your chest or your neck. See, my neck's quite pale. Um, she said, but you should really be matching to this area. And if like me, your neck is pale, then you bronzer that. I haven't got there yet. But she said, hold a piece of white paper. And look in the mirror if your skin comes out as pinky reddy or blue yes you're you're um, if it comes out pinky reddy or blue against the paper then you are cool toned if it comes out yellowy 
then you are warm toned. I was like, wow, it's fascinating. It was really, really fascinating. But if you, yeah, she pampered wolf on YouTube, really interesting. And the other cool thing as well, she gets her mum in on it a lot. And her mum's, I would say in her 60s, and she looks, like when she takes her makeup, she's a gorgeous woman, but when she takes her makeup off, she looks a heck of a lot older. Her eyes are very, very red and veiny. She's very, very red and veiny and dark bags under here. But yeah, they, that, that's, uh, that's why I learned about using green concealer on my red bits to help like hide all of that. And that's where I learned I was using the wrong fucking foundation. So, um, slurp, slurp, slurp. so I went shopping with Callie and Rob and it's always a good idea to take a bloke with you, okay? My son-in-law's probably not the best bet because I don't think he would actually say, no, that looks really bad to me. But then on the other hand, you know, he's, 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 he's a good boy. So I took Callie and Rob and Daryl with me and we went through several different brands of makeup because the trouble is you can't try anything at the moment due to COVID. So, um... I'm standing there in a store like this going, what do, you think? what do you think? Is that a good match? Is that a good match? Yeah, that looks okay. Okay, so let's go down one shade. Is that, no, no, put that one back, go up one shade. No, no, right, we'll stick with this one. And I was actually quite pleased with how well it all like blended. And then if you're red, I got this. It's from L'Oreal. And you like, you need bet. I mean, I put wasn't even a pea-sized amount it's a tiny amount I cover my nose round my nostrils that bit and then a large area here going probably from the bridge of my glasses to my eyebrows and then a little bit around the sort of front of my eyebrows um, and I cover all of that with less than a pea-sized amount it's really really good your face is like that all the time because yes yeah, see mine is because psoriasis so this morning I thought right remember your primer before you put your makeup on because I was a little bit tingly the other day and it's worked a treat. My lipstick. I'm wearing lip liner as well. No, no, that's not it. It was one I picked up the other day. Hang on. Right, I'm wearing... Ah! I've just fucking dropped it. Hang on. You were... pretty sure it's lip liner color sensational is it i'm pretty sure it's this one and that's number 338 and i got that's by maybelline it's i'm pretty sure it's that one or is it that one it's either that one or it's color sensational by maybelline um in divine wine it's one of those two so i can't quite remember that's the lip liner which is why it's got a little bit of a sort of red around the outside it doesn't match 100 percent. and the lipstick itself is by l'oreal and it's hang on where's my my autofocus me doohickey it's an ultra matte liquid lipstick it's a Le chocolat range and it's number 858 but they do loads of different colors and i'm so going back because i love browns and and like dark colors browns and purples and all that lot and i was so chuffed when i found they do they're doing like a chocolate range so yeah you only ever use primer but you're very oily But L'Oreal have got some really, really nice makeup out at the moment. And Superdrug do like deals on a lot of their makeup. So that's why I always go there. I might, I might go back next week and, and attempt a bronzer. Because I'm aware of the fact that my neck is really pale compared to, compared to the boobs and, and the face. <laughs> And contouring is something I want to have a go at but I'm really frightened to do it and then go 
I look silly. I feel a bit clown-like now because I don't normally wear this much makeup. I don't normally wear makeup actually. Um, because I tell you, the, the only time I used to wear makeup was when we went out clubbing. Um, <laughs> and other than sort of, as I've gotten older, maybe wearing mascara on a regular basis because I like how lashes with mascara look. I would love to wear, I'd love to have my eyelashes extended, but it seems a bit pointless because they, when I put false views on, they hit my glasses. Didn't used to have that problem before I started wearing glasses full time and I, I'm so not doing contacts because I can't abide things touching my eyeballs. So I'm stuck with the glasses. And I don't mind the glasses. I think they suit me, I think. Um, so I use um, lash lengthening mascara, you know. No, I never really wore it really. Only if we went clubbing and, uh, you know, the rest of the time I might occasionally put a bit of eyeliner or a bit of mascara on. It's only really been this year, I say this year, as in 2020, that I've started experimenting. Um, and then I did my face one time and just as I was walking out the door I sent a picture to my daughter and she went, your face looks a bit orange, mum. And I was like, oh, and I spent the whole day like, looking like Donald Trump. Um, so that was when I was like, right, I need to research this. And then I found Pampered Wolf, so yay. Am I feeling good about it? Yeah, I feel, um, I feel better because I know I don't look blotchy. That, I think that's the main thing. You know, um, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying playing with it. So, you know, you can feel them scraping down the glass when you bring, yeah. And that's not pleasant, is it? You know, so I use, um, at the moment I'm using, ah, I nearly dropped the entire drawer. I have a drawer. This is my palette that I use the, the majority of. My daughter bought me this a couple of years ago. Crikey several years ago for Mother's Day in our uh, in Boots and it's by collection hashtag face the day and it's great because you've got a highlight I'm assuming that that is for contouring so I might have a little play with that tomorrow but I use all of these for my eyes that's my blush and I use that for highlighting I'm sure that's what they all are oh it actually tells you on the back so that's highlighter and blushish blusher yeah, so that's a bronzer. And then you've got eyeshadows, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. Yeah. So yeah, that is a a, a bronzer. Um, yeah, she bought me that for Mother's Day several years ago. And then I've also got this palette, which is lovely. And I've only used this a few times. But these are all colours that I love. So I know that I will use all of this, which is great fun. And I love that it's got a little eyeshadow mirror. Yeah, that's what I. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, what's I coming in here for? Oh yeah, mascara. At the moment, I'm using by Rimmel Wanderlux, and it's the pink one that I'm using because they do a pink one and a different one. And I bought that, and then I've also got the Colossal Big Shot because I've heard that these are brilliant. See, I like really long lashes, but I don't like it when they look like spiders and when they look like um, like. Is it is it manga where the girls have really clumpy eyelashes? I don't like that look. You know, mine's not clumpy. Yes, it's obvious I'm wearing mascara, but it doesn't look. I don't look like a doll. Yeah. So I'm gonna try that one next and see if I get on with that. But I would recommend the Wonder Looks definitely, definitely recommend that. So yeah, that's that's my little that's my little draw of goody goodies. Watch the YouTube see how she does it. So the trouble is I can't do it while watching that because my source of natural light is behind me so when I'm putting my makeup on I actually sit with my back to the desk so I'll have to set my phone up and prop my phone in my mirror up there but I know that when she does do it I noticed the other day which nobody has ever said online and I noticed it and I went oh, that's interesting and she said you know you, you do it under where you put your blusher and she stopped in line with the corner of her eye she said you don't need to come down all the way and I, I was watching her and I was like she has stopped in line like you know in line with the corner of, of where your eyebrow would stop naturally if you weren't a plucker I'm not a plucker I don't touch my eyebrows but yeah she sort of stopped about there and I was like oh okay so I thought that was uh file that one away
So I need to have a little go with that. Robert Welsh. Never heard of him. The issue I have with a lot of these makeup people that you see online is that they don't tell you why they're doing something. You know, they don't, they do it and it's all like, yeah, and now we're going to put this on. Well, why are you putting that on and what does it do? You know, it's like with Pampered Walk, the first time she sort of, the first video I was watching, um, she was like, yeah, um, you've got to use a darker shade for for your, your contouring and blah, 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 because it does this, 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 and this, and this. And then she was like, and it's just like with your eyeshadow, if you've got hooded eyes, you need to do this, and you need a lighter thing on your eyelids, and this is why it makes your eyes look bigger. And she went through it all, and I was like, oh. And I've watched shitload of makeup videos, and nobody's ever explained that before. They just assume that you have some basic rudimentary knowledge in it, and, and, and do it. And I was like, Ah, I felt like an idiot. I still do, really, but there you go. Might be Welsh, but Robert Doe, he's really good and takes piss out of the ones doing dark stuff. Ah, right, okay. And where's he? Is he on, is he on YouTube? Well, that's it. And if, like me, you don't know, Callie's not a makeup wearer, really. Um... You know, she does it from time to time, but she's not a regular makeup wearer, you know? And I'm just like, well, I haven't got anybody I can ask. I don't know anybody that regularly wears makeup that is also close physically so they can sit down and teach me, you know? I mean, I, I know a, a, a woman in um, Essex and she was like, yeah, you know, you need to get some bronzer and all that, blah, blah, blah. but why? She was like, I'll teach you how to use it. And then she's never did. <laughs> I'm like, oh. on Facebook. Oh, see, that might be quite interesting then to watch both of them. I mean, there's a lady in Scotland that I watch. Jamie something or other and she's stunning she's just started her own business makeup business you know she just started her own business selling makeup and she's beautiful she really is she's absolutely gorgeous she wears a lot of makeup though you know she really does she looks like she's been in Barbados for three months by the time she's finished and she and she's a heavy makeup user you know it looks great on her I'd look like a fucking clown if I tried it but she doesn't say, you know, oh, this suits my skin because, you know, if you're a lighter skin, I recommend you try this. You know, I mean, she does review products, but then the majority of products she reviews, she reviewed, she, she was talking about, what was it she was doing? I think she was going on a date with her husband. And she said, oh, and I've got this and it's a body shimmer powder. And she said, this is great if you're wearing an off the shoulder, you know, and it looked amazing. And I said to Callie, I was like, oh let's get that for the wedding and you know because Callie wore a sundress when she got married she wore my sundress actually when she got married I said we could you know we could tie your shawl like here and shimmy it when it looked like it was 65 quid now to, to, to her you know a woman who's you know financially just been able to start her own business they own their own home they've got two German shepherd dogs I don't know what he does but he goes out to work every day as well they've got no kids you know, she goes and gets her nails done every other week and her hair done every couple of weeks. She's got extensions and, you know, I'm like, that's all very well and good for somebody who can go to a makeup store and drop 800 quid and not think anything of it. £65 to me is a fuck ton of money, you know? It's all about shade and light. Any bits you want to minimise or look smaller, you contour, you contour your double. Yes, yeah, so that's something else I need to learn how to do is to, you know, de-emphasise this bit. 
and any bits you want to look bigger or more prominent you use light shades yeah exactly you just shove some foundation and concealer and fuck all the other stuff yeah well that you know i didn't used to wear foundation because well i was using the wrong shade so i was putting more and more and more on and the feeling you know like i'd painted my face i really did and it wasn't until I started using it that I used barely anything, but it evens everything out. I'm still not 100% gone on the blush. I still think it looks a bit heavy handed for me, but I think that's just, it's going to just take some getting used to. Excuse me, a brilliant website is called Foundation. Yeah, um, I saw that also on Bare Minerals do that, I think. I used to use bare minerals way back when, but yeah, I mean she's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, she's lovely, and you know Jamie Genevieve, that's it. And um, yeah, I mean I think she's stunning, and uh, you know she's covered in tattoos and and loads of jewelry, and I just think she's great, you know. And she came down as really down to earth the first couple times I watched her, and then she started reviewing shit, and they were like, oh yeah, you know we're going to go out and buy a few bits for the house. 1500 quid later she comes home and she's pulling it all out of bags and i'm like and what really fucks me off as well i'm on one now what really fucks me off is it's people like her that the companies say can you review this no i know it's because she's got you know 170 million followers i get that so it's a wider audience but they send it to her for free. <laughs> Do you know? Send it to me for free. I'm never going to be able to afford your product. You know? And I'm certainly not going to drop £65 on a body shimmer in case it looks shite. Whereas if you send it to me to review and I like it, I'm probably going to be more inclined to buy it. Save up for special occasions and all that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The amount of much you just, you know. That's it. The freebies are given to the people who don't need it. And, it, and it's like. And then there's, there's like. I had somebody. I posted my picture this morning. Because I did. I felt really good this morning. And I posted my picture. And I never know what to do in this circumstance. Right. I posted my picture. And I had a company called Promotion Team 52. DM for shout out at underscore world dot underscore of dot underscore beauty underscore world of beauty. And I never know whether to actually DM them or not. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And the one time I did DM somebody who said, you know, I think it was a dreadlock page. DM if you want a shout out and I DM'd them and they were like it's going to cost you 15 quid and I said you want me to pay you to be featured on your page and they were like well yeah and I was like fuck off and I, I was like no I'm, I'm not doing that why should I pay you you want to plaster my picture all over your website you should be paying me do you know what I mean but I never know what to say when I get people who say, yeah, DM, DM for, or collab. You know, if you want to collab, send me a DM. And I'm like, and say what? What do I say? <laughs> and are they, are they like ripping the piss? Are they going to scam me for something? Yeah, I do too. But I don't know whether I shouldn't because, you know, I might earn something. Maybe I should start posting feet pictures. Let no, else try that, and then she's not getting anywhere. Posing. Oh, that's it. I don't want to get ripped. They're after free money. They take the best. Exactly. I wouldn't pay anybody for my picture. <laughs> Somebody wants to pay me, that's fine. But I wouldn't pay anybody. It's YouTubers like that that you would love to see their credit card debts. Yeah. But like I say, I mean, she's just started her own business, so I don't think she's in too much debt. Can't remember what it is her husband does. So I occasionally get the, you know, I'll pay you £1,500, £1,500 a week um, 
if you'll be my sugar baby and all I want is for you to talk to me and I'm like and you're going to give me $1,500 and it's the ones where they go I want to be your sugar daddy and I'm like you're probably like only about five years older than me <laughs> I don't look that young I'm not that fucking dumb body builder so yeah it could be yeah he looks like he spends a lot of time in the gym doesn't he flower foxy cross stitch who I might know is on Instagram never heard of her I mean the thing that annoys me as well is when you get these people that do tutorials and this is so far my only gripe with Pampered Wolf is that when you've got a question because they get hundreds and hundreds of comments that they don't read through your question doesn't get answered you know that's that's one of my gripes when you're when you're there and you're like please help I don't know how to do this instead of sort of saying back to you okay i'll cover that in a future video or you do it like this you're just ignored and uh they did a program briefly three years ago it said on there some such oh right okay It's dreadful as well, isn't it? They seem to live on McDonald's a lot of the time. Oh, Christ, if I had McDonald's, I'd, I'd look awful. Yeah, BBC Free is not a thing anymore, is it? To those who are lurking, hello, come in, say hi. Give me something to rant about. It's a ranty day. You know the um, the um, the old railway track has from the Sandown High School through Alveston and New Church and all that lot. It's flooded as in halfway up your calves flooded really really bad my mate Zoe went down there today and uh, yeah she was like I'm not gonna go that way because it's already up to my calves and if I go any further I'll go over the top of my ready boots <laughs> it's just like, wow that's insane the road the path from from because you know, you've got the golf course on that corner and you come round and you go down past the little orchard and that it's it's flooded pretty much from about halfway down that little slopey bit past the bridge to Alverston on the road and then the footpath itself she went as far as that little water processing thing the little one yeah I remember that um yeah you know that little little southern water building with all the fucking cctv that really and the little bridge behind it she went as far as that and she was like i'm not going anymore because it's it just looks deeper and deeper and deeper and it was wow yeah the water today is deeper than it was that uh, that's why i mentioned it because i remember that photo of you and rachel do you have to make that noise when you scratch I was telling my mum about your vacuum cleaner today. And she was like, ooh, she said, I love a shark. And I said, well, it's only 200 quid, mum. And she looked at me, she went, is it really? I said, yeah, she said, that's a really good price. I said, I know, Kaz is really pleased. She says hi. I said, Kaz is really, really pleased. And she was like, is it good? And I said, well, she said it is, you know. I said, I don't think she's cleaned the whole house yet, but, you know. And, and I said, it's a lift away job. And I was describing it to her. And she said, is it heavy? I said, well, Kaz did admit 
she sat on the stairs to do it. <laughs> so, but, um, you know, she did say it made life a bit easier and that it glides really smooth. And she was like, oh. Your walking route around Godzilla has been totally underwater several times and boggy as hell. Is that, um, do you go down into the little valley bit and go along the farmland? Is that where you go? I love that. I've, I've gotten off at Godzilla once and watched from Godzilla to Merston and then home um, along the cycle track. It's a fab walk. I used to walk, a couple of years ago, I was walking that cycle track every single day and I would easily walk to Merston, if not Newport. Walked home from Newport several times, down in a pushchair with lunch, <laughs> just walking along, audio book playing, you know. We was one of the regulars for a while there. And then didn't go along. Okay. I didn't go along there last year because COVID. Um, didn't go along there the year before because that was the year Stuart died. I haven't been along there for a good couple of years, so... You got a rumba for Christmas. How much does that hold? I'm always curious about that. I wouldn't be able to let it in my office though because it would suck up stuff that I just dump on the floor. Um, what? I remember day when um, I was still little and um, I was in the was and I was eating cake. Uh huh. That day. Okay. Go I ahead. See the cat is snuggled with man. Is she? Yeah. Okay. On the sofa with uh, that. Traitorous move. Go on. Mommy. Yeah, I keep thinking about rumbas, but you know, would it suck up Lego and shit like that? That's that's what I worry about. The dog would probably have a fit if the Hoover suddenly came to life in the middle of the afternoon. I've got a Henry, but I can't do the stairs. Mum's got a handheld shark for the stairs. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, she's it, it. It looks like a car. It looks like um a dustbuster. It's a bit heavier than that, but she's great because she can do the stairs. Not, a, not a ton. So a Roomba is more a keeping on top of it than it is. You know. So really, when you buy one, you need to have vacuumed your house before you, before you let it go, <laughs> before you release it into the wild that is your home. I'd have to block it off of my office door because that, that would just be funny. The best thing you ever had for your kid was a Lego table. Hello, Carper, and how are you? See, I'm thinking of one of those bags where, you know, you, you open it up into a big Lego play mat and then they can just play. And then when they're done, you literally just tighten the doohickey and it makes it into like a sack. So do you have you found then since getting the Roomba that you don't you don't need to vacuum the Roomba keeps on top of it does it provided obviously that you empty it Lego table best thing ever you're good just tired and it in the toe of your sock cool Oh, that's a good idea. Thing is, my son likes to like get it all out and, and play on the floor, and I don't mind him playing on the floor with it, you know. But um, I think what I would have to do then is activate the Roomba to work at night. I'm a messy girl. Yeah, see me too. But you you do find it keeps on top. Oh, okay. So have you kept your vacuum cleaner then, for like you know emergencies or? Are you like, right, that's it, I've got to remember. Bollocks. That's it, I have too much stuff. Especially in this room. This room it would be awful in. But I would like to get, um, like, a shark like you've got, Kaz. And then um, I could give my Henry to Callie and Robert for their place. Thank 
Thank you, Tantel. How are you? You have a one-bedroom apartment with so much stuff in it. I have a three-bedroom house with so much stuff in it. Yeah, that would be cool. You actually have your full-size floor loom in your dining room kitchen area. Fantastic! Weaving was uh, something that I considered briefly and then I thought, no, because I know what I'm like. If if I go there, then I'm like, I would want a proper full-size loom and I just don't have time. I don't have the time or the space or the inclination. Um, yeah, I'm not too bad, Tantel, thank you. Getting there, getting there, you know. I didn't know they'd been around that long. You have four looms. Oh, that's why you don't have much space then. Oh, okay. Yeah, my wheels like that when I get in on, on a knitting project like this socks thing. Not going to get much spinning done this year, I don't think. <laughs> so we came up with an idea. Those of you that weren't in my stream, is it Friday morning? And don't follow uh, Dork's Discord or mine or you know those of you that haven't seen it basically um because we're knitting or we're hoping to knit 26 pairs of socks this year what i decided to do the other day i came up with this idea and you know the wee hours like you do that when i finished knitting a pair of socks i'm going to wrap them up in christmas paper and stick them away in a bag and by the time christmas comes around because my memory is awful I will then um, have loads of socks to open on Christmas, which I thought was a great idea. And then Doc turned around and went, you could do that for Advent. <gasps> yeah, a brand new pair of socks to wear every day of December. It's healthier than chocolate. So if you want to join, Dork's got uh, several different knitting channels in her Discord and I've set up an Advent Sock channel on my Discord as well. So, um, you know, by all means, feel free to... Hang on, let me just wake my appropriate window up. Feel free to come and join my Discord. And uh, yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea to sort of chat about it. And um, oh, hey, thanks for the colour. Uh, words, I can word. Thank you for the follow, Prisma Kitten. Come and have a chin wag. Um, yeah, that's my Discord link. So if you want to come and join, and yeah, my Discord's quite quiet, but. Um, thought it'd be nice to sort of compare sockies and, and all that kind of thing. So, yeah. Uh, do I know about the stranded knitting? Don't listen to podcasts. I don't have time to listen to podcasts. And when I go out and about and I don't have a Daryl with me, I listen to audiobooks. So, no. <laughs> it's a short answer to that. Uh, she has been working on that and had a knit along this last October. Oh, right, cool.
Life is calling you. Oh, okay, darling. Take it easy. It's good to see you, Sandy. Take it easy, darling. Speak soon. She doesn't post very often anymore. You joined along with the knit along on her Ravelry page. You've got three pairs, Dad. Cool. Cool. Well, this, this challenge that we're doing, um, we did this 10 years ago. And um, my friend who actually hasn't been in, uh, Miss Elnitz, she came up with it. And the idea was, was that on the 1st of January, you find a yarn or a pattern with a name that begins with the letter A. Okay, so for example, this year I did um, a gentle updraft. That was the name of the pattern that I did. Um, my socks, my B was bumblebee yarn for my bumblebee socks, it's vanilla socks, you know, but I use bumblebee yarn. So you cast on your A socks on the 1st of January. Two weeks later, regardless of whether you finished or not, you get a two week bracket to cast on your ASOC. You don't have to do it on that day. You can do it any time within the two weeks. Two weeks later, you then cast on your B socks. Two weeks after that, you cast on your C socks and so on and so forth. And the idea is, is at the end of the year, you've got 26 pairs of socks, okay? Which was brilliant and I loved it. I did it the same year I did the 52 pair plunge and I actually managed 50, and it was quite good because obviously if I knew that um, a new letter was coming up, I would save yarn and say, right, well, this is my, you know, my B sock or whatever, because I'm working with such and such yarn. And I also put it towards 52 pair plunge. So oh, yeah, by the end of the year, I actually, I actually had 53 pairs of socks because I, I went mad and knit a lot. That's my other social media links, the Linktree one. You can find all of my links on there. Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram uh facebook does say facebook already uh, if you add me on facebook please tell me who you are just send me a pm going it's such and such from twitch because otherwise i won't friend you i won't allow you to friend me because you know i get people sometimes friend me and i'm like well who the fuck is that and i don't appear to have anything in common with them and i'm like why have you friended me and they never go oh hi i know you from so i just go Well, that's it. I wasn't gonna net. I wasn't gonna number them, Nelly. I literally was gonna. I have those. Um, I have a calyx unit over there, and I have those uh, fabric boxes. You you know you pull them out, and they're the same size as a calyx. Square. And I was literally gonna like assign a box for Christmas, and then come Christmas time, I was just gonna get Daryl to like pull them all out and go through it. And that's what I'm gonna do for Advent. So they'll all be wrapped in the same paper. I will toss them into the Calyx box, jumble them up every now and then, you know, give it a good shake. And then every day in December, I'm just going to say to Daryl, right, pull me out a new pair. And I will wear new socks every day in December. I'm actually really looking forward to it. I'm quite excited by the idea, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Because I'm all depressed because Miss L's been working really, 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 really hard, and she's lost ten pounds, and I haven't been working hard, and I haven't lost anything. <sighs> but I've got so much shit going on, and I'm just like, I just can't. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then that way, Daryl's involved as well. He gets to pick me out a pair every day. And then he'll go, oh, I remember those, because obviously he sees me work on them. I was quite pleased, actually, because when I did the bumblebee socks, which I need to wrap and, you know, assign a box. When I did the bumblebee socks, um, Daryl was like, I really like that yarn. If it was orange and black, it would look like a tiger. And I said, that's true. So he was like, could I, could I get some orange and black yarn and make him a jumper? So I'm like, oh, hell yeah. So we, I like had a look around, and he chose um, the jumper is called Flax Light. It's on Ravelry. 
and it's a plain jumper it's i think it's a raglan i can't quite remember but it's 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 um stocking stitch but i think it's like moss stitch in a band down down there yeah have you seen it do you know do you know the one show you the yarn what yarn what the bumblebee oh i haven't got the yarn no it was when i was knitting this and he said could i get it in or orange and black yeah, it's either gart or moss stitch or something like that isn't it um so i was like well yeah i'm sure i can you know i can i can get you some so i said you know what color do you want your sweater then he said oh i want to look like a tiger and somebody had knitted it for her child and she had done it so that the because you work from the neck down it's a raglan sweater and she had done it in um two row stripes so she'd done colour and then black and then colour and then black until she'd finished working the armhole and then from the armhole down she just went plain and I was like that looks really really good so he said could I do it in orange and black so I think if I just get solid orange and then some black I could do it and he would look like a tiger always up seeing other people's yarns you get too giddy <laughs> yeah and I think orange would really suit him and you've seen him he's got quite dark, darker skin than I have um, and the, the blonde as well I just I just think it would really suit him I think it, it's, it's not a colour that any of my kids really wear but I do think it would suit Daryl you know a proper like tiger orange you know like Tony the Tiger from um, Frosties mm. Yeah, I really think he could, especially if I can get him nice and tanned in the summer, which he does. He's one of those kids, he just goes brown and he looks amazing. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I don't go that colour. I go that colour a little bit, but my arms do, but not the rest of me because I don't uncover the rest of me much. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to be on the lookout for some orange yarn, I think. So my plan is, because socks, especially plain socks, only take me a week to 10 days depending on how much I, I I get to knit on them because I've now designated that it's usually a Sunday will be my lazy day where I won't do 12,000 steps I will you know max out at around six seven thousand steps and then I will sit on my ass and knit all day you know that's the idea i usually sort of catch up on wrestling or youtube or what you know whatever because i'm a huge fan of wrestling um don't think i told you kaz guess what alex now does he's a fucking wrestler he started um the year stuart died because stuart's brother neil is part of outcast pro wrestling and um yeah he's he started the same year neil got him into it and um yeah he's really good he's really good so you're on the cool scale yay <laughs> your kid also just browns isn't it sickening yeah i tell you what mate he's really good if you if you look back through my youtube i actually did upload like his first match but um also like he's on instagram you guys and you know if you don't mind a bit of love for him because he's 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 just he's ju he's trying really really hard not to be self-conscious yeah he's the security guard chap instagram.com and he's nero 17 okay that's his instagram you guys could go and like you know just double tap when you see his pictures come up you'll know it's him he's got black damn bark bark drown hair down to his waist okay he's gorgeous he's a gorgeous bloke and he's trying to gain some confidence by posting some pictures a little bit more he's worked really hard all down not down he worked really hard and i tell you what there's not an ounce of fat on that boy now he is ripped and i know a mother shouldn't really say that about their son but he has yeah he's he's got 
you know, like you you know, you can tell when somebody works out because they get muscles there. He has muscles there. He has a washboard tummy. You know, he's worked so fucking hard. So he was overweight when he moved out of here. Um, not hugely. He's not like he's fat. He's not like me. Do you know what I mean? But he was. Yeah, you know, he had a bit of a tum. And um, yeah, he's. Uh, yeah, he's, try he's trying. He's trying really hard, which is really, really good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Isn't he? Isn't he? Doesn't he look lovely? I was like, wow, Alex, that last photo where he's got his head back is stunning. I don't know why he's single. I really don't. Well, he's a jerk. That's why he's single. But <laughs> he's my son and he doesn't know when to shut his mouth, unfortunately. And it's been about five years since he last cut it all off. He, went, he was a bit depressed one afternoon and came back down and his hair was shorter than what mine is now and I was like, what have you done? Oh, I was a bit fed up with this, so I cut it all off. I was like, oh, oh my, my hair. Oh. I nearly cried. But it's like he's got on his, his several, last several pictures as well. Uh, not that one. Um, oh, well, I can't find it now. Um, tattoo underscore stars keeps sending him messages, so I assume they want to feature him. And he's got that voice. Dork loves his voice. Yeah. Are you listening to him now? He's online now, Dork. I'm a bit miffed because he, he's come back to streaming, but he won't put his camera on. And um, I'm like, you, you need, and he's like, no, because I, I don't really, I don't really fancy it. What do they need to see my face for? And I'm like, because your streams would do better if people could see you. People prefer seeing the person who streams, especially on games. Yeah, he should. I know, I know. But last time I mentioned it, he threatened to ban me. So. Actually, they don't. He doesn't. Um, he he. He gets really downhearted actually because he streams and at one point he was streaming four or five days a week and he doesn't get raids, he doesn't get many follows. He did make affiliate at one point um, because um, there was a guy he used to talk to a lot from Sweden, Googsy, and Googsy raided him a couple of times and got him enough followers that Alex did actually manage to make affiliate. But he doesn't get a lot of people in his streams. Like now he's got, you know, <laughs> me and that's it one viewer apparently whether that's right or not I don't know yeah he's got a couple of bots and me well that's you know that's what I've said to him you get more followers uh. so yeah he texted me earlier and he was like I'm gonna creed you coming on I was like uh no I'm about to go online myself Because I said, when he said, yeah, I'm going to stream, I was like, do you want camera back? Because that camera is his. And I was like, you know, and I was like, it's not come up then that you're watching. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, how do I do this? I can't remember how I, had, how I set this up. So shout out. Oh, wrong one. Uh, Nero. 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 There you go. That's his Twitch. Don't say about the face cam because he'll probably kick your ass out. You get really huffy. But I mean, I, I even raided him. Like my first Twitch stream, um, I happened to go be going on the same night as him, and I had like people that used to watch me quite a lot in my stream, and I said to them like, "I'm going to finish before him because it was just a boo a bullet journal spread." And I was like, I'm going to finish for him. If you guys don't mind, can we go raid Alex? And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they used to see Alex on my lives when I used to do lives on YouTube because he, he used to live here and he would go off to wrestling training and he would always come home in the middle of my streams and he'd always say hi. He was always, you know, he'd always come in here and say hi, everybody. And how's it going? And they'd all go, oh, how was your wrestling training? And, and they were so awesome. But, oh God, yeah. Um, have I got it? Have I got it? Hang on. Because I've got, if I've... Mm. There it is. I 
wonder if I can open it without it freaking out my um right I'm night darling it's 8 30 yeah go to sleep okay I might glitch here slightly because I'm opening a program so that I can show you guys something nighty night baby love you Door. She's gone into his strap and said, Your mother said you need to put a face cam back on so we can all come and draw over you while playing games. <sighs> Bloody woman. <laughs> right, hang on. Oops. Right, let me put that there. Can I make it full screen? Um, no, I can make it a bit bigger. Right, I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna show you a video, you guys. Okay, this was at wrestling training. I'm, I go along and occasionally take photographs and um, it's just so that I can practice my photography. Um, I'm hoping that one day they'll actually get me to be one of their camera people. But this was, this is my son at wrestling training. you not, no. Go to bed. No, I need it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't that awesome? That was his first attempt. It's called the Phoenix Splash. Send him your way, you date him! <laughs> I'm going to tell him just when I see him, just so I can see the look on his face. But yeah, that was his first attempt at it. And he was so pleased that he actually did it and that I was there to see it as well. But I, because I, he said, did you film it? Did you film it? I said, no, I didn't. I said, I took photographs. I've got fabulous shots of him in midair. Um, the video was done by um, the Isle of Wight Women's Champion. You're not interesting, but that's pure ballet. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's fantastic. You're only in Wales. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. And he, um, he had a match with the Isle of Wight champion, men's champion, um, recently, and um, it turned into a bit of a bit of an Iron Man match, and it went on for quite a while. And they beat the holy hell out of each other. It was a brilliant match, absolutely brilliant match. I can't wait for it to be published. But um, if you go to Outcast Pro Wrestling on YouTube, um, they occasionally chuck a show up. Can't comment unfortunately, but they occasionally chuck a show up of um filming that was done in between or just before the lockdowns he's in a couple of them the um guy called Stu hurt that is my brother-in-law neil um he is he one of the tag team champions no he's not a tag team champion at the moment he was tag team champion for quite a while um and he's only a little guy <laughs> um but i'm pretty sure there's a match between my son and, and, and Neil on one of those shows as well but yeah I was I was well impressed with him Did you cast onto it a time sock check?
you should hear her doing proud mum about you right now. Wrestling videos have been shown and now you have possible dating material in her chat. <laughs> What's he saying? I bet he's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's his voice. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy, send my new um, soulmate to my chat, would you? Also, don't show them, actually, I don't think I've sent you it, but don't show them anything that's coming up from Unleashed, because obviously I'll get in trouble. Probably going to get kicked off of YouTube because you're still streaming. Oh, okay, cool. we could have co-hosted, couldn't we? I don't think I've we? sent you anything from um, Unleashed anyway. I've, I've shown you, but I don't think I've sent anything. We it. should have, have uh, what, do they, what do you call it? What, what, do, what is it when Al and, Al, Al and um, Tiger do it? Hey, friend. Huh? Where you can watch two at once and, oh, they do it in voice chat through Discord. Co stream? Um, I think I would only ever co-stream with someone if I'm co-oping a game with them and they're sort of streaming as well. Or if I was like in we a voice chat with someone. Turn to the orifice. It keeps people well placed. It is not truth, right. but true power. Multicast, yeah. Yeah, same sort of thing. No, oh, doesn't have a friend, they do two no, different things. No. Just voice chat. Yeah, but we're not I voice chatting. Power on power. The great becomes great. They do it via Discord. I actually am not enjoying this <laughs> trick. <laughs> I, uh, he's, he's got the rum on. I finished an eight hour shift um, today that started at 6 a.m. All of the shifts that I've done today have started at 6 a.m. and have been at least eight hours long, which means I've had to get up at the very latest at five o'clock in the morning. It's not a morning person. Um, today I got up at half four in the morning because I was sick of having to rush to work. Um, like the day before, uh, no, yesterday. Yeah, if you I search multi-stream, I think it is on multi-twitch. It just takes me 20 minutes. Put in the streamer's work. names. So I had to like rush my fucking uniform on. I didn't have time to make tea in my flask. I didn't have time to have breakfast. I didn't, I, I, I barely had time to fucking get dressed. Um, so yesterday was rough. Um, I, I got to work at 6, I got to work on time, thankfully. And I got there at 6 a.m. I'm amazed you get to work at 6 a.m. was tired, wanted to die. Um, today I woke up at an hour earlier than that, at half four. Got to work just fine. I got to work early, I sat in my car for like 10 minutes and just scrolled through Instagram. Um, got to work. 6 a.m. start, eight hour shift, except today I was the only security guard in. For some reason, the shop that I was guarding on Saturdays. Hi, little girl. Only want one guard in at a time. That's my son, you can makes sense because it's the busiest day of the week and I can't do anything if they want me to just stand at the door the whole fucking yeah, day. Yeah, the supermarket so he's working eight, at. Well, we don't want you walking hours, around because it's off putting. You've got to stand by the door. Standing at a door. Telling people to wear masks and that you can't come in because there's three plus six. It's fucking stupid. They're all um, separate in place. Uh, on Tuesday, I got up at five o'clock and did 12 hours. Oh. On Monday, I got up at five o'clock and did 12 hours. That's what my week has been like. I'm fucking exhausted. I don't do mornings very well. I got up at 4 30. I'm honestly surprised. I started to get convinced that it was impossible for my body to get up before 5am because every time I've had a 6am shift I haven't been able to get up before 5am um, but so today I managed to do it at 4.30 because I think I just got pissed off and stubborn I was like no I'm getting up because I, I want to have breakfast I don't want to rush to work it's 6 so two. I, I got up at 4.30 got his own car had, some, <laughs> had breakfast at a decent pace nice and relaxed got dressed at a decent pace, all that crap, it was great, and I made it to work on time, and I did a fucking eight hour shift, 
starting at 6 a.m. and I feel like shit. Slides into DMs. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to not having to get up before six o'clock. So I'm I'm drinking alcohol because this week I did 40 hours of work uh, at work. Last week I did 44 hours at work, and one of those shifts also started at 6 a.m. So my last I can't count five shifts. <laughs> My last five shifts have started at 6am, which is an unholy hour to have to be at work. Um, and I want to die, so... I haven't had any alcohol since... I didn't even drink for New Year's, because I was working around the time. Um, yeah, I, I was working around New Year's. No, you weren't. Well, not you exactly, had COVID. Yeah. I'm not big on drinking anyway. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I wa yeah, no, I wasn't drinking because I had COVID. That's no, right. I'm typing COVID in his at, uh, stream. On New Year's Day. Um, no, I didn't catch COVID on New Year's Day. I got my positive test results on New Year's Day. I, I started showing the symptoms that I had, which were very mild compared to other people, three days before that. So I spent New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and all that feeling like, utter shit you did bless us um i actually think i went to the gym on new year's eve because <laughs> i didn't know i had covid obviously if i knew i had covid i wouldn't have gone to the gym but as far as no, i was you can't talk to I alex go to bed winter flu. go bed um, what day was fucking new year's eve if it was a wednesday then i went to the gym uh, no it was thursday thursday yeah so no i i i, I didn't no um new year's eve a lot of um, the time, if I'm in chat, he'll call me Puddy. the day that I got uh, told to self-isolate, and I thought, fuck that, I'm going to get a test so that I can confirm whether I can work or not. Um, um, because, you know, you didn't want people sort of thinking, so oh, mum's in chat. Anything and it was a long, long time before he actually out. said something since, along the lines that made somebody go, you know her then, you went, um, yeah, that's my mum. <laughs> since Christmas Day. Yeah, we got drunk Christmas. Because it was... I had work on the Monday after Christmas, and I didn't drink for three days between working. My daughter gave him alcohol for Christmas, and he drank Christmas. it off. I was quite drunk Christmas Day. I was very drunk. I, well, I started off drunk Christmas Day because my sister bought me these little bottles of Kraken, um, Kraken like black rum or something like that, and they were delicious. So I'm gonna set sail while we two 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 this. bottles um my sister of these me i got two so i'm bad for presents to be honest i tell people not to bother because i just don't want anything so anyone who's watching this thinking she bought you tiny bottles of alcohol for christmas for a terrible sister she's not i'm just a terrible human being to buy things for um turn my mic up no my mic is loud enough um yeah my sister bought me these two little bottles of crack and rum for Christmas. Actually, I will check my settings because it did seem a bit quiet earlier. And um, I drank those before I'd eaten anything. You know, I drank those we fucking both of those bottles for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent like the first half of um, Christmas. That's not the right setting. I spent the first half of Christmas off my head, <laughs> and then I ate something. And, I felt fine, um, and then drank something else. You know, it was funny. After after a while, I, no, my settings are all fine. Um, after a while, uh, I leveled out because I'd eaten something, uh, so I kept drinking, and I didn't really get any drunk, any more drunk. Um, after I'd eaten, you know, I kept drinking, but I, I didn't like <coughs> my fucking drinks down. I just drank at a decent Let's pace from there um, because I wanted to stay happy. <laughs> And then the next day I wasn't hungover because I rarely get hungover unless I get absolutely smashed, which has been only like three or four times. Um, you're going to lurk again because you can't have my game going due to YouTube. Well, no, you'll be fine because unless I make a copyright claim on it, it's not going to be a problem. Um, Otherwise, I would get in trouble for my own videos, if that makes sense. So I didn't drink anything from work, uh, from Christmas Day until work. Are you not? You've done so much on them. 
Um, and that was the last time I drank anything. And I've been working a lot lately. Usually, like, TSS only guarantees me one shift a week, but I'm covering people who are ill, self-isolating, or on annual leave at the moment. And I'm very tired. So I have, I have alcohol. That's, that's where this whole, this, this whole discussion began and ended, really. <laughs> <laughs> I have alcohol because, so I have alcohol. Will you wear them, Doc? You're bringing my webcam down tomorrow? That's fine, it can sit in a bag and not be used. You've got a chat full of women, women drawing over my Instagram. That's why I have the Instagram. That's why I don't have a camera. Because if I got a camera, it would lower the value of my Instagram. Tell them all to come here. I would like for them to like drool over me personally. They can't see you to draw over. They want to see me while I game. Why? That would be boring. That's like the most boring way to see me. You've me done in the my hill. most boring state. And you're on the foot now, but you're forcing yourself to not on them. Will you wear them, do you think? They can't see me to draw over. There's nothing to draw over right now. I'm wearing a hat, I look like shit because I woke up at an ungodly time. And slowly get, I'm not drinking fast enough, hold on. Then frog them. Really, what? Don't nip them if it's that bad. I, I actually shouldn't get too drunk because I plan to work out tomorrow and stream at 1pm. Nice, normally has a good place. Would he wear them? <laughs> I considered playing Kingdom Hearts. Um, because I, I planned to get very drunk and I knew we still had two like super bosses to fight on um, Kingdom Hearts. So I thought it'd be fun to, to drunk stream those super bosses. But then I realised that I haven't streamed Creed in a while and we need to make some progress on it because it's uh, we've still got so much creep to do. <clears throat> Going to mute me so people can hear you. Just send them here. <laughs> Take the ball. Yeah, right, I'm gonna mute him. Right. We'll 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 next wear the socks. You've only knit one pair of clock socks. Yeah. Um, one thing I've been told is if you knit them inside out, it makes them slightly looser. So, you know. <laughs> He's going to go, oh my fucking God, how do I pronounce your name? But yeah, go say hi. <laughs> You're here. She's put, Dork's put, I'm here. You poor thing. No one needs me lurking around. Duke dies in. She's like, hi! <laughs> like a teenager on steroids. You always have it typed out ready. Duke dies. <laughs> It just is not because no it I don't think it would be for me either my sock gauge and my knitting gauge are two completely different things I remember when my mum was like can you teach me to knit socks and I was like uh, yeah okay and I was cringing watching her knit because she knits so loosely and I was like mum you need to tighten your gauge those socks aren't gonna last and she's like but this is how I knit and I was like yeah but she's like but you don't knit that tightly I was like I do when it socks you need a nice tight gauge for socks, you know, and they're slopping about all over the fucking place, and I just, uh... Let me just to say she doesn't wear the socks that she's knit. Mainly now because she can't actually reach down to put the bloody things on, but there you go. And I bought her one of those things, um, 
you know, to aid you in putting your socks on. She's never used it, it's still in the box. Okay, sweetie. The sock helper. I don't know. She never used it. I've considered stealing it actually for when my back is bad and I can't get my socks on. Um, so, you know, I might half inch it and have a go with it and see what it's like. I think the only issue is, is that it tends to sort of stretch the socks out quite a lot by the look of the box, which, you know, I'd be like, my precious socks. I'll let you know it. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if I if I'd steal it off of her. I'll have to. Oh my gosh, the battery's low. Hang on, I need to charge my watch. I did Daryl's earlier. Twelve percent. That's not good. Well, that's it. Yeah, I would worry about it damaging my hand at socks, but I'll give it a try with some like regular socks and see how good it is because there are days when my back is so bad I just simply can't reach my feet you know At which point it's shuffle around the house and slippers sort of thing and bought socks over for years I, I wear thinner socks um, in like the warmer weather because uh, you know if my feet get too hot I actually start to feel a bit funny so um, I do have thin socks um, for you know when it's not bitterly cold and also um, okay um, I also wear them with my walking shoes because my walking shoes I should have gone up half a size because if I wear knitted socks in, I've got Meryl's walking boots, if I wear my knitted socks in those, the end of my big toe hurts after an hour or two. So I need to save, I, was, I, I had enough money to buy a new pair and I've just paid to hire a van to move my daughter next week. So yeah, um, let's start again. Your low back has been bad since August and it's tough putting your legs up. Yeah, I have chronic pain syndrome. So my my back has basically hurt since 1990. Which is lovely. Um, South White Rentals. My God, that man does not stop fucking talking when you phone him up. this is like more painful than your normal pain it just hasn't gone away it might just be a setback you know you get them from time to time where you feel like really bad and then slowly you start to come back up again that might be what it is and they can take a while I did a pain management course 15 odd years ago interesting what you learn but it annoyed me because they they works on the basis that all pain comes from an injury and it's like well i haven't had an injury i had babies you know and then there was one guy there who was going well your program isn't going to work for me and they were like yeah well yeah well and he was like no it won't he said i've had like half my shoulder removed 
the pain comes from you know the the I, he said I just don't have movement in my shoulder the pain comes from bone grinding on bone and all of this lot and they just didn't seem to understand that physio basically it's physiotherapy with a bit of um, CBT thrown in and they just didn't seem to understand that they weren't going to be able to help him because he couldn't physically do the things they wanted him to do. And he was just like, you know, he said, um, yeah, I can accept it. He said, I'm well aware of the fact that I've got pain. He said, doesn't mean I have to fucking like it though. And that's what they were all about, was having a positive mindset and all of that lot. And I think it was me and him were just like, this is a load of shite. Head injury when your kids comes and goes. Yeah, no, mine's, I have constant chronic pain. I know, so do I. Isn't it beautiful? Really pleased with it. It feels nice in the up as well. I hope Doc put down a bread uh, a bread crumb trail. She's got enough yarn to knit a pair of socks a week for thirteen years. She showed a picture not that long ago. I can't remember where, and I wouldn't be able to find it now. I think it's on Discord somewhere, and it's just like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, she, she's got like this, um, it's a bit like a calyx unit, but I'm pretty sure it's like a wire version. And she's got the skeins all laid out nicely in the calyx unit. It looks really, it's like, yarn lover's paradise. I bet she's like head down in a box shouting, I am not obsessed there. Oh yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to bust my stash yarn this year. My plan this year, I did actually start to say this earlier and then I got sidetracked. My plan this year is um, that I'm gonna do the sock challenge, cast on every two weeks. And then when I finished the socks each, like two week period like when I'd finished the bumblebee socks I finished those on Tuesday and I didn't didn't need to cast on these socks until Friday so Wednesday and Thursday I worked on the grandbaby blanket as you can see that's nearly finished by the progress bar down there I've got 50 rows left on it so when I finish these socks provided I'm it doesn't take me two weeks to do which they're not going to because they're knitting very nicely and I've got all day tomorrow to knit. Um, yeah, provided that um, I get these finished with some leftover time, as it were, um, my plan is then that I will finish the grandbaby blanket. And every two week period, hi Knots, I'm good, thank you. It's going very well. Hi Rita, I've just actually, um, I've got my son on like my other screen. And I've just had it so that everybody here could hear his voice. And Nuke Dai is now over in his chat drooling. Because <laughs> I, I even put his Instagram in and they all went and had a look and went, because oh! he has hair down to his waist. Yeah. <laughs> so that's quite funny. Um, yeah, so every two week period, I will work on the advent socks. I think we lost the, yeah, I, I think so. Um, I will work on the advent socks and then if I finish the advent socks before the end of that two week period I will do another project so at the moment because obviously my grandson is due in April my priority is the grandbaby blanket so when I finish these socks I will do the remaining 50 rows of the grandbaby blanket then I've got a list in my boo journal of projects that I want to do. So I will have two projects, two knitting projects on the go. Those wild, I might actually finish those wildflower socks 
at some point as well so that I can just get them off the fucking progress bars. So I might just sort of like, maybe once I finish the grandbaby blanket is double sock for a bit. And um, I haven't, I haven't, I have got vodka. Hi Pugs! Long time no chat. Um, so yeah, I might double sock after I finish the grand baby blanket just so I can get the wildflower socks finished. And I'll chuck those in the advent as well because I frogged my A socks because I didn't think the <laughs> cool. I didn't think the yarn was a good match for the pattern. Didn't have a good enough stitch and I, the yarn pissed me right off. So it kind of the pattern was lovely. Dork, dork wrote it, so yeah, it's lovely. But it just the, the yarn pissed me off and it kind of soured me towards the whole thing. So I frogged them. <laughs> so I might dump the wildflower socks in the advent as well so I've still got 26 pairs I would like to do it so that I actually end up with 31 pairs so I can wear a new pair of socks every day in December that would be really freaking awesome but yeah I get so when I finish these socks I will then finish the grandbaby blanket that won't take me too long at all and then I will work on the wildflower socks that'll be my next project and then after that I will start on my list some of the things are small some of the things that I, I want to do a cardigan for me in that lovely um, variegate cotton yarn that I showed on stream several months or two ago that's all blues and greens it's lovely and I know what pattern I'm going to do for that so I want to do that You know, guy with hair down to his butt. Yeah, my son's got hair down to his waist. Jumper for a small boy. Yes, I've got to find orange yarn for that first. I shall have to add my Ravelry into my link tree addresses. Um, remember to start Ravel using Ravelry again. That's the point. I need to upload the bumblebee socks. Because I don't think I did it. I think... Will I do acrylic or I'll probably do acrylic. Little boys are hard wearing on um, jumpers. Dar I mean, Dar was very, very good um, with that kind of thing. But yeah, I think I would probably do acrylic. And then I can just dump it in the washing machine and the tumble dryer. Just upload them to Ravelry because I don't think I've done it yet. Fan Pond Cherry Vanilla. Awesome. There you go then. Uh, P is for Bumblebee. No, I hadn't. Uh, I just want edit now, edit. Add photos. Choose. Lovely. and make a habit of actually uploading socks <coughs> or pictures to um, um, show it off stick it and show it off oh, I've got discord open so I can I can switch screens so people can see it so they don't have to go and have a look just yet if they don't want to Wish picking PC upgrades was not so bloody hard. What are you upgrading? 
Right, you guys ready for this? Hang on, let me just make that bigger. I wish I could make that really big. What if I open the original? We'll see if I can sort of make this like big so you guys can see this. Because it's quite impressive. You knew how to. Oh, there you go. You guys ready for this? Ready? 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 Look at that. I want to go and play in Dork's house. How much is that sock, Dork? Is that all all of your sock? Oh, steals all the yarn for Miss Elle. Oi, Miss Elle can come steal her own fucking yarn. Nelly wants to touch it all. I, would, I, I must admit, I would worry about moths, but then I've had moth issues before, so... You bought more since, oh fuck's sake. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> You're so bad. All of that is sock yarn. Isn't that a fab? I have a good mind to screenshot that and post it in my journal. This is not a shop, ladies and gentlemen. This is a personal stash. Yeah, is it sorted, Doc? Or do you literally just chuck it all in wherever there's space? I mean, I can see you've got, like, your blanks are down the bottom, whatever that is, bottom right. You know, I can tell that the bottom bottom row is is by brand, by the look of things. You have little seeds. Yeah, I know, you said, yeah. I need to get some of those. Isn't that, I mean, that is, I think that's bloody great. Isn't that amazing? I, like, I want to play. Yes, holy stash, Batman. Yes, that's her personal stash. That's that's not a shop. That is Dork's personal stash. Solids are together. Commercial is together. Hand dyed self striping all in their own cubes, and your zombie yarns have their own cube as well. I said new dye's going to come back now because Nero is going for a cup of tea. Let's just put up his BRB screen. Do you have cat stock? This is something I'm often interested in. People who have their stash on display like that. Do you have cats? And <laughs> hi, <laughs> welcome back. Just lost one of my best steppers. Unfit bit. She said her fit bit died, but she's not even had it a year. Sounds like they're not going to replace it for her. Erin's allergic to uh, right. Saying that though, my cat don't go near my yarn. Yeah. By the same bottle they were sure it. No, they check the um the doohickey. Uh serial number. Oh, excuse 
just me. Yoni, yoni. What do you have to let me know, new die? I've just seen it in chat. I haven't got hit. I haven't got the sound on, so I can't hear him. <laughs> yeah, trouble is she's um. Oh right, okay. She's um already been on to them about the fact that it doesn't work. So I think it would look a bit suspicious, wouldn't it, if she bought one and then suddenly changed her mind. I don't know it's not like Fitbit to not replace them she just said the other day that it had bitten the dust and that she was like talking to Fitbit but it's very unlike Fitbit to not replace her I mean I've lost Fitbits before now and they've replaced them free of charge Matmu <laughs> What? I heard the kitchen door. <laughs> Could you pour me one, please? What if there isn't enough co? Co to shop? My shoes are wet. Stick mine on. Your feet are too small. No, they're not. So sweet. He's blinking in the in your doorway like, ah. Uh, bigger than yours. No, I bet they're not. No, they're not, because you stole my slippers. So don't give me that bollocks. He went out in that flood water today and got absolutely fucking soaked. I walked through the flood water. In like stupid little trainers. <laughs> little like plimsoll tennis shoe things. And the water was up around his ankles. <laughs> his shoes are free. You could like squeeze them gently and get half a litre of water out of just a gentle squeeze. Go and have a shop then. Suppose I am. Love you. Right. Love you. Right. Keep, keep quiet, okay? It's snowing there, is it? It's just constant rain here. I wanted to go for a walk today, burn off some of Daryl's energy. But we have to go down to my mum's and I live like halfway up one road and my mum lives like just round the corner. So, and we got soaked just going down to my mum's. So I was like, yeah, I guess we ain't going for a walk today. Which is why he's still awake because he hasn't burned off his energy. I need to get him to do fucking pee with Joe or something. Yay, Matt's buying alcohol because he didn't ask me for money. Excuse me. Does he like a challenge, but he can't do the full Joe list? I'd have to bribe him. Yes, this is my C pair. 
he's at that adorable age now where you can bribe him with food. It's great. Do that and I will give you chocolate. <laughs> it's like Matt came in earlier today and um, he'd bought um, a round tree, a bag, you know, that you're supposed to share. Mince! I only bought it because I wanted the tin because I thought it was adorable. Um, I don't know what they call them. It's just mixed sweets from Roundtree, you know, like um, look a bit. They they look a bit like Haribo to me. And he sat them there on the table right in front of Daryl. And Daryl had a bowl full of pasta. So yeah, about half of it. And he came and showed me, and I was like, "You're not getting sweet." And he's like, "Oh, I said you're not getting sweet if you don't eat it all." He came back five more times. <laughs> right, some more. I was like, "You didn't eat all." Oh, well, you've got to eat it all. So you go back a couple more mouthfuls and come back again. Like, well, no, there's still pasta in your bowl, wouldn't there? You know? Eventually, he caught the idea that you ain't getting fuck all unless you eat it all. But that's what I was going to tell you. Those of you that follow my social media know that I posted the other day, and Matt, you might want to hear this. The other day, um, there were eight mashed potatoes for the very, very first time and um we discovered that mashed potatoes are okay but he doesn't like peas so uh, okay that's fine at least you tried the mash would you eat it again he said yeah yeah i just you know, can mix it with some beans and he's like oh yeah turns around to me this morning he went can i have mashed potato for dinner tonight i was like um uh, oh, uh, no I'm, I'm doing pasta and he went, oh Mm, pasta's okay, I suppose. I'll do mashed potato tomorrow night. He went, yeah, yeah, okay then. <laughs> I was like, all right, okay. Mm. Uh, I prefer petit pois. I don't like garden pizzage. Um, I like the sweetness of... <laughs> Might say, like, you need help. Yeah, I like petit pois, petit pois gravy. All mixed in with my mash. But it's got to be mixed in afterwards. I can't have it mashed with my mash, if that makes sense. It just doesn't taste right. That was some mashed potato for dinner this morning. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I said you could have it tomorrow. Mm. But yeah, he actually asked for mashed potato for dinner. I have more drink. I like this waiter service. It's quite good. Slap, 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 slap. Yeah, I dish it up, I do mashed potato, peas, whatever, you know, pie, whatever, pour gravy over the whole lot. And then I mash the peas in with the, the mashed potato with the gravy. Love it. But I said he could have beans with his, because I don't, you know, he doesn't like peas. He tried them, he honestly did try them. He, you know, tried them a couple of times and he got quite upset. And I said, do you really not like the peas? And he said, no, I don't like them. I said, okay, you don't have to eat the peas. You just have to eat the potatoes. And he went, oh, okay. And he was so relieved that I wasn't going to force him to eat the peas. He burst into tears, bless him. And I said, but you know, are the mashed potatoes okay? And he went, yeah, yeah, that's 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 good. That's good. And I was like, okay, you know, so he was he was really, really chuffed. So yeah, oh yeah, actually asked for mashed potatoes. I said, yes. So he wants, um, you know, like you get tinned beans and sausages. He said, could you have beans and sausages mixed up with mashed potato? Floyd had a sulk today because the chicken nuggets you got were different to usual and were too chickeny. They were real chicken, not not processed mush. Yeah, processed pink mush. Yeah, frozen peas are fantastic. So sweet corn. I'm quite happy to eat, like, just, you know defrost your sweet corn you don't have to cook sweet corn or peas and so many people don't realize that the next time i do that i might just get like peas and sweet corn out and let them defrost naturally rather than cooking them because i steam my veg i don't boil it They're so much tastier He did ask for raisins actually the other week as well. I must remember to get him some. 
Yeah, I'm talking about like sweet corn. Uh, corn on the cob, but not on the cob. They here they take it off the cob and you can buy it. Um, if you get it in a in a can, it's usually in some like just some water, and you drain it and you can steam it. You can stick it in water and boil it, or you can just eat it raw. You know, or you can buy frozen corn, and same you just defrost it and then cook it however the fuck you like really. Yeah. Somebody else I know loves cucumber like that. Who was it? I can't remember now. I'm sure I know somebody who eats cucumber like that. Mm. I don't know why we call it sweet corn because you don't get non-sweet corn it's either sweet corn or it's corn on the cob <laughs> you know i don't like cucumber you know if you make salad you have to chop enough to go in the salad and some for you just go for chopping i'm a bit like carrots last year or two <clears throat> I think it should be corn on the cob or corn in the can. That'd work. Ugh. Ugh, Nelly, yuck. Mushrooms. Ugh. Bleh. I don't do mushrooms, vomit, vomit, vomit all over the shop. They are fucking nasty. Oh, we've been here for two hours. That's good. Bitches, the lot of you. Can't stand mushrooms. Ugh. I don't like anything about mushrooms. I don't like the flavour. I don't like the texture. The smell. That's because you're all fucking weird. Mushroom lovers. Oh dear. Really hate them. Good. Good. Kindred spirit. I can't fucking stand them. The only time they will get eaten is if they have been really... Yeah, I don't like peppers. Any peppers, really. As if they've been really finely chopped and they're in like a bolognese. That's all right. But if I see them, I will pick them out and not eat them. And I don't like peppers. They all taste the same to me. Peppers. Yeah. 
Maybe so, but to me they just all taste the same. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So is anybody a wrestling fan? It's not something I ask very often. I've been a wrestling fan since I was about 12. Um, used to watch, you know, used to watch like the old English wrestling on Saturday mornings, Big Daddy and Giant Haystacks that when I was little. And then when I was about 12, um, my, my dad discovered what was then the World Wrestling Federation. It's the WWE now, World Wrestling Entertainment. And um, we would watch it every week. And they used to hold two, three shows. Uh, it's the Royal Rumble on Sunday night, Kaz. <laughs> That's where I'm going with this. Uh, yeah, they, they used to have, you know, a couple of main events a year. You would have the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, or SummerSlam. Now, there's like, there's a main event every month. It's bonkers. And um, yeah, I'm going to watch Smackdown tonight because the Rumble's on tomorrow night. So yeah. So we're going to be up for that. Um, I think we're going to stay up. Originally we weren't going to because we were hoping to move Callie and Rob on Monday, but I couldn't hire a van. So um, I've had to hire the van for Tuesday. So Matt's like, can we start watch Rumble? Oh uh, yeah, there's a very very good chance we might do actually. Yeah, I lo I love it, and I I I cried when Undertaker retired. I'm not I'm not sad to admit that at all. I fucking bawled my eyes out because one of my big dreams was to see The Undertaker wrestle and I, you know, I was gutted when he retired. Loved him, always loved him, thought he was fucking brilliant. Every persona he's had I've loved. Very much so. So yeah, rumble tomorrow night. <clears throat> For us in the UK that's going to be about one o'clock in the morning but so I might have a nap Sunday evening for an hour or two. Or I might, like, see, there was part of me that was like, I could lay in Sunday morning and then I'd be all right. But of course, Elstream is on Sunday morning. So I've got to get up for that. Undertaker. Move wasn't meant to happen on Monday, no. Oh, yeah, we could do. But I'm not going to be... I'm going to be in the lounge. I'm not going to be in front of my computer. So I'd have to discord it on my... Uh, yeah, he's retired. Retired in July. I actually did a... I actually did a page. In my journal. <coughs> this is my journal from last year. <laughs> Um, now yeah, where was it? I saw his debut. I actually wrote, I'm going to get all like, <gasps> now, The Undertaker, probably the most iconic wrestler ever. I remember his debut 30 years ago today. I watched it with my dad. It was amazing. He has continued to amaze time and time again. But now, 30 years to the day after his debut, he's announced his retirement. Got it. Hashtag thank you, Taker. Oh, I didn't know there was a T-shirt. I want it. I want it. I want it. Thank you, ticket t shirt. Yeah, it was it was lovely. Yeah. He didn't actually like do the um 
he didn't actually do like his final appearance until much later but he did actually announce it um survivor series that was it he actually announced it then said yeah that, that's it i'm not doing it anymore i can't do it anymore because he kept saying for a long time one more show <laughs> i could do one more show you know and he did a couple of wrestlemania appearances and it was very obvious that he was in a lot of trouble you know his hips and his knees were bad and then he had surgery and it was like yeah you know and he was bouncy bouncy about i can do this i can do this you know excuse me hello alba how are you excuse me Coca-Cola. but then it's just like you know as fit as he is guys in his 50s you know hi matt how you doing i'm good alba i'm good we've had a good stream we've um we've talked about everything actually we've talked about makeup and um i've ranted about covid uh, <laughs> well no i've ranted about the nhs i think um then we listened to my son's voice because you know the women in chat all wanted to draw and he's streaming at the moment so yeah, it's been it's been it's been quite a good stream really so and i've done quite a bit on my socks you are well, you've seen my cousin's picture so you can see what's going on <gasps> oh i'm gonna be so fucking jelly cas where'd you get it <laughs> did you order it from the states or like you know <gasps> oh fucking want it yes i have um i i was saying earlier on um new socks will be cast on like every two weeks and i finished my last pair of socks on the tuesday and i didn't cast this pair on until the friday so i spent a couple of days really working on the blanket i've got about 50 rows left to do so when these socks are finished i will finish that blanket and then i will work um it's not my fault you weren't paying attention i'll stop looking at her boobs if i can slap you one don't talk to him he's a whore i want to thank you take a t-shirt God, I'm not buying from the WWE website. I'll get stung for customs and Christ knows what. How long do I think the 50 roads take? An evening, maybe two, if that. Oh, you put a message for that? Oh, which means it's probably fucking rude. Yes, it's rude. Go away, Matthew. And I doubt it's like five equals long <laughs> now i need to drop some weight and then i think i'll get me one Excuse me a minute. Daryl, go to sleep. Matt, Matt. Kaz's t shirt. I want one. Mm, it's pretty cool. I want thank you, take a t shirt. Can you have one? Uh, no, well, birthday. Birthday. It's not your birthday. It will be, eventually. Eventually, I suppose. Just after yours. Really? What do you want? What do I want? Yeah. I know. I know what I'm going to get you, actually. What? Oh, yeah, your new fucking bag, because that piece of shit's all yeah, the pieces. Yeah, I didn't need a new bag. Yeah, there I've you go. I've already buy him one before, haven't I? Don't, and I'll, bu I'll buy you one, and it'll be an early birthday present if you want. Uh, 
forked out a lot since that pic was taken. Ha ha. Just about fit one boob in there. He said, oh, I know the feeling. I'll tell you what, when COVID's lifted, right, as long as if you don't mind Daryl coming, we'll get out and we'll walk. Then we go along a cycle track and... Because you're, you're not here now, are you? You're down the bottom area. I'm not saying because, you know, I'm not giving out your location in relation to my location. Aren't you darn chaff? Anyway, I'm good in it, girl. Thank you. It's been quite a good day. Got on the railway track, <laughs> backwards and forwards. <laughs> I'm actually going to see it because I said to my son about this like last summer holidays when I decided to pull Daryl out of school. I said to my eldest, would he be willing to um, maybe have Daryl once in a while um, so that I can have, you know, a day where I go out walking and I've got to listen to Daryl's incessant chatter. And he was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And I didn't take him up on it because, of course, we've all been stuck inside due to COVID. This, um, the yarn is called Celestial Body, Rita. Lovely. I'm going to say to the guy who dyed them, though, fabulous bloke called John, um, that he should try this on a sparkle base because I reckon if he did it on a base that's got, you know, some... Stellina in it, it that, that that would just look fucking awesome sparkly confetti socks so that's the other reason I can call it CC for confetti like sprinkles sprinkles on a cake Not too bad, Matt, thank you. Not too bad at all. My daughter's got a flat and is moving in on Tuesday. Uh, my mum got told she can now go and get a COVID vaccine. And when we went to the website to register, the nearest one's in fucking Portsmouth. So that's helpful. <laughs> yeah, no. Can you move in with her? I think her husband. And her baby might have something to say to that. No, yeah, they um they sent her a letter this morning. I got on Facebook actually and had a major major rant because um I'd noticed that people, you know, fucking twenty five years younger than her, were getting COVID vaccines. And um, so I flipped my shit this morning, basically, and posted all over Facebook. And my poor old ageing mother, who's got, you know, fucking COPD, asthma and high blood pressure, hasn't, has left the house once in the last 14 months, and that's to see her granddaughter get married, you know, hasn't even heard anything. She's just been told that she's eligible for it and to wait until she's been contacted. And then I went down the road to pay my mum's bills today because I go down and pay it all online for her because she can't, she can't seem to do it. And while I was there, of course, the post came and it was a letter from the NHS saying, you are now eligible to book your appointment. Please go to www.nhs.uk forward slash COVID dash vaccinations and book your test. You will need your NHS number and your postcode. NHS number is at the top of this letter. Fap. So I immediately went online. Yes, I'll get this all, but you book, you book your two appointments, 12 weeks past. Lovely. And um, I'll get this on. Taps in her details and it come up. Nearest one is 11 and a half miles away in Portsmouth. 
what? And I scrolled through the list that they had given me. Portsmouth, Southampton, Christchurch, uh, Brighton, Poole. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, not a single Isle of Wight listing. So well, that's a bit fucking odd. Exactly. That's a bit odd. So I went on, um, we have a Isle of Wight community information Facebook page. So I went on there and I went, you know, is there an Isle of Wight COVID vaccination station? I know there's a test, a couple of testing places, but is there actually like a, a you know. And um, a couple of people have come back and gone, yeah, there's one up near Big Tesco's at Westridge. And I was like, oh, it's not come up on the website. And then somebody else said, yeah, there's, a, there's one opening in Newport. That's our main town on Monday. And, you know, we, we booked ours this morning. Hmm. So I'll go and try again, you know, a few hours later. So I went on before I came on here, tried again. Now, this listing's 30 miles away. Nothing in Portsmouth or Southampton. I was like, you what? So I ranted on Facebook again. And a friend of mine who lives over in Southampton said, there is one. She said, look, it's it's the one that's opening on Monday in Newport. And I said, yeah, I know, but it's not coming up on the website. And I can't choose to go there if it doesn't come up on the fucking website. And she went, the reason it's not on the website is because they don't have any appointments. She said, basically, the way, apparently, the way the NHS website is working is if that place has got appointments, they're listed. And I was like, well, that's dumb. Why not just put it up there and allow you to book? You know, so basically it just means that they're full for the next few weeks and you just keep trying. And I was like... But then why not just have it up there and go no appointments available so that you don't have idiots like me going, why isn't there a testing site on the Isle of Wight? Do you know what I mean? But some people, because there is a phone number. All right, I'm going to show you my mum's address or her information. Um, you know, book your COVID appointment now. Um, we've sent you this letter because you you know you're high risk. Da, 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 da. You go onto the website. Yeah. Um, you put in your name, your date of birth, and your NHS number, which is the top of the letter. Or you can phone 119. Right? So a couple of people said, yeah, we phoned them because the Isle of Wight wasn't listed. And even the people on the phone were like, oh, And a couple of people said, you know, phone the GP, phone the GP. And I was like, okay, our GP surgery, we are, I think, fourth or fifth highest covid cases in the country a week or two ago so our gp surgery is bonkers it takes nearly an hour before somebody even picks up the phone right their website their facebook page and their welcome to the bay medical practice uh this is dr trow blah 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 if you're calling about the covid vaccination please note we will call you when we have an appointment for you you know, so it says it all over the place. Do not phone the medical centre. They will call you. So I'm like, I suspect the medical, because somebody said to me, well, they're doing the over 70s in this area next week. And I'm like, but my mum's not had a phone call. And they're like, oh, check your numbers are up to date. My mother and I have both had the same phone number for the past 10, 15 years. I can't remember the last time my mum changed her phone number. And I know they haven't called her because I've got her phone. You know? I've got her phone so that if they do ring, I can answer it. And the reason I've got it is because she can't see the screen. And she can't see the buttons and she can't remember what button to press when it rings. <laughs> so I'm sort of like... <sighs> So I don't know what to do because somebody said at area they're they're starting on the over 70s next week but my mum doesn't have an appointment so do I phone the medical centre just to say or do I wait and do I keep you know do I keep trying with the NHS website and it's dumb it's a dumb system they couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery Yeah, quite likely you are, love. Sorry, but it's... 
but that's what the letter looks like so you, you, you'll know when it comes in and it, it will come in a, a, a windowless envelope no, or, did, or was there a window for the address no I think there might have been a window for the address and it comes with this really not helpful <laughs> leaflet you know and you've got to book two appointments and all that rubbish you can get access to the vaccine if I want no because I I don't approve of the people that are jumping the queues by going to the vaccination centres and just queuing up for it when they could wait their fucking turn it's like here on the island the bus drivers and the train drivers are all being vaccinated I don't know why the train drivers are being vaccinated the fucking trains aren't running because they're redoing our tracks because we've got new trains and all of our platforms need to be modified to take the new trains because they're taller than the old trains so our trains aren't running so why are they vaccinating the train drivers he's house banned and you have no means of getting there no idea how you sort it i don't know i'll see if it's in here hang on Can you can you not get him out on a wheelchair because you can um, you can request to go to one that's got like wheelchair access or disabled access or whatever. Read the product information leaflet for more details. I don't know the only thing I can recommend is um, right I would recommend you contact your doctor surgery you could try this at this address nhs.uk forward slash covid vaccination or try phoning 119 okay it's 119 it's a free number and say to them because your dad's vulnerable as well, isn't he? Say, so, look, you know, my dad is high risk, he's vulnerable, but he's housebound and I've got no way of getting him, <coughs> excuse me, to a vaccination centre. Please advise. and Because they might send somebody to you when they do your local nursing home, you know? or Because they've got to be doing some care in the community jabs, surely, because he can't be the only one that... You have a few hundred boxes stored in a fridge trailer at your storage area. Do you really? 40 foot lorry trailer full at the moment. Bring them here because we don't seem to have enough. No worries. I would imagine they've got to have something in place for those that can't get out. You know, because they're going into care homes to do it. So there's no reason why they can't like skip to your dad's address on the way home or something. <coughs> Excuse me, tickle. Excuse me, you're supposed to get a list to distribute them around the country, but they are slacking in that department. I don't want to slack them off too much because, you know, they've got this virus out in an amazingly quick time, to be honest. They don't seem to be administratively capable to cope with widespread vaccination here in the UK. Is that right? Does that sound? Does that sound about right? <laughs> they don't, do they? I mean, the NHS really don't seem to be. They don't seem to. Ha yeah, it's underfunded, and has been fucked over. Yeah. And I don't think it's a case of we don't have enough people to actually administer the vaccine. You know, because you could get volunteers. St John's Ambulance could do it. Red Cross could come out and do it. Fuck, I, I know how to do an injection. It's not that hard. You could train volunteers who have had the COVID vaccine to go and do it. But they don't have the administration, the people that do the fucking paperwork. 
it's the paperwork that people that can't keep up. Like you said, you've got what is it, a forty foot trailer sitting there full of shit that you can't. Oh, has she? Oh, well, that's good to know. Well, that's it. You know, you've got the fact that there's there's going to be people that's going to have reactions to it, and you know. But it just annoys me when you hear like, oh yeah, no, well we heard they were doing the vaccines there, so we just went and queued up. I was like, oh, did you get a letter then? No. Well, so you've just taken two vaccines that you know in theory don't actually fucking belong to you. Oh, hang on, she did respond. Apparently Fitbit aren't replacing her tracker. <sighs> oh, good cups now. The fact they have given out the vaccine to people to give out, but not telling you where to take it. How many more stashes are out there that they are paying to store? Well, yeah. Okay, well, that's... I understand why you've taken that stance. You know. I mean, it's like they're, they're not offering it to pregnant women because they have no idea of um, the effects on fetus. So my daughter won't be offered it. Not yet. You know. My mum will have it. She's stated, yes, she will go and get it done when the time comes. I'll probably go and have the vaccine because by the time they get around to me I'll know what the <laughs> what the side effects are no I bet it's not no because you've got to have that running 24 7 to keep it at the correct temperature it's just sickening to know that you've got it there it's, you know <sighs> it's infuriating Yeah. It's like being in the sea when you're dying of thirst. Fucking pointless. Yeah, I got a bit shirty because I put this post up on the um, the um, community page saying, you know, do we not have <laughs> local vaccinations? And people come back and, well, people are obviously getting vaccinated because I heard about it. And I'm like, I know that's not what I asked, though, is it? I asked, do we have a vaccination centre? You know, telling me to phone my GP is stupid because everybody has been complaining for a year now about how impossible it is to get through to the gps on the phone and can't get an appointment for love nor bloody money you know and you have to go through vigorous phone screening before you can even get in the front door at the gp office where i am so there's no point telling me to phone my gp my gp doesn't know why the nhs website doesn't have a uh, isle of white listing because it's you know they don't, they don't, I know, I don't know if you've seen my post, but I actually got a bit shirty because one person was like, but they're obviously finding it out, and I'm like, I'm aware of that, you fucking moron, and then I was like, delete, 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 that's a little, she's about a fit bit, only had it eight months, stopped syncing, and your watch rejected your Bluetooth, then watch wouldn't count sleep, and somehow the clock lost 15 minutes, well, that's a bit shit. That's a bit shit. What order is it? Yeah, I, I, you know, sometimes I'm glad that I type because then, um, you know, I do have the option to go, don't fucking post that, don't fucking post that, you will get 
removed you will get blocked don't post that don't post that don't post that put lol at the end because otherwise people think you're being an asshole <laughs> you know because i tend to be a bit blunt on the internet but yeah i just like oh yeah, well, yeah people are getting vaccinated i know but that go back and read my fucking comment that's not what i put i said is there a vaccination center yeah Versa 2 and Fitbit is joined with, with Goigle. <laughs> Lol. Goigle. The such that your doctors hate you. They are nosy bitches, so keep telling them you have crabs. <laughs> uh, trouble is, they screen you, don't they? Because if they deem you're not serious enough to see a doctor, then they'll pass you off to the, um, um, it's not the doctor, is it? She's a, it's a nurse, nurse practitioner. Yeah. Yeah, it's horrible. I don't want to tell a receptionist why I'm phoning. It's none of her business. Or, you know, because there's a male receptionist at my medical centre. So, you know, if I was to phone up with, you know, my current issue, which is I haven't had a period this month and I'm not pregnant, but I am 45. So there's a pretty good chance I'm perimenopausal. I want advice. You know, do I need to do anything? Should I come and have a blood test? And all that lot. Well, I don't particularly want to talk to the male receptionist about it. You know. <clears throat> yeah they actually do try and get less people to come but then the stupid thing is is like our doctor surgery they release a certain amount of appointments during the for, you know in advance if you want an appointment on the day you have to phone that morning they used to call it the emergency list no now it is if you want an appointment on friday you've got to pull you've got to call in on friday morning at 8 30. good luck with that yeah basically you've got a fight and and this is bearing in mind that since you know in the last 18 months uh, my practice is called sandan medical center right that way is Shanklin. Sandown and Shanklin merged a year or so ago. Tother way is Braiding and Braiding also have a doctor surgery here in my village. Sandown just bought out Braiding. There is one medical centre business even though the actual buildings the building in Shanklin is still a doctor surgery it is now all under one company if you like. So you've got to fight thousands of people to try and get through to get an appointment. If you phone up at any time of day at the moment, you will be on hold for approximately 45 minutes before you even get through to the person who says, hello, thank you for calling Sandown Bay Medical Centre. How can I help you? Your pull-out game wasn't strong the other week. Dude, I didn't feel a thing. At least we aren't in the US. Well, yeah, you know, I'd be dead. Yeah, nine times out of ten, by the time somebody does actually, like, answer the phone, there's no appointments left. None left yet. See, so you've all been there. You all know exactly what it's like and then they go when is it urgent <laughs> it is now it wasn't six months ago when i first started to try and get a fucking appointment love but now you know i've got gangrene and my legs fallen off last time you used uh, yeah but you're a healthy chap aren't you matt so you know oh no you don't get the constant engaged tone here <laughs> If you manage to get past the constant engaged tone, you just get constant ringing. 
because you're in the telephone system queue so it just rings or you get really loud obnoxious music being told thank you for your patience but it's still it, in which point your call is now active okay so you're not ringing you are on an active call and you are basically on hold for 45 minutes now imagine if you've got a page go phone like my mum has Yeah, right, I'm calling you for the fun of it. Yeah, I really need a doctor to actually listen to me and help me. But I know there's no point calling and say, okay, I've only been temp for 10 years. <sighs> That's nothing. Go 30 years and then you might actually go get somewhere. It's stupid. Chronic pain is something they just don't want to know about. I've sat in the medical centre and watched the receptionists and uh, the two receptionists sitting there chatting while the phone rings out. Is it? <laughs> hey, I use a naff free tune for my YouTube video. What are you talking about? Shush. <laughs> I've just remembered. Oh my God. I've just why didn't anybody remind me I downloaded um I, I, I've just remembered about it as well I downloaded Petzl I've got no idea how to use it okay so this this will be a good experiment I need to put a note up to remind myself activate Petzl now Matt said I open it and I just play it is that right Matt <laughs> um stations what should we, should we do alternative tell me if it's too loud because it's not on it's not on very high so let me know once it gets going if it's too loud and if it's overwhelming me a little bit I don't know how I get it to tell you what it's playing because I went to a website and it says press this and this should happen and I was like no used to be they would just prescribe opiates which leads to something yeah but the trouble is because people are getting addicted to those so that is a bit loud isn't it let's turn that down a little bit What's a good setting to have it on? Let's do 10% 10, 10 The bot should connect to chat but it hasn't done because it hasn't told you what I'm playing um, Basically um, you open it like an app and then you just press play You don't have to connect it to Streamlabs or anything Matt, you're quite knowledgeable. Are you quite knowledgeable about Macs or is it only Windows that you're quite knowledgeable about? And no, I'm not going to throw my computer out of the window and go and buy Windows PC because I can't fucking stand Windows PCs. But I need somebody who knows a little bit about Macs to answer my question. Okay. This, my progress bar. This is a screenshot of a spreadsheet, okay? I, I make a new one before every stream. I've got a folder on my, com on my computer that's got all of my, all of my bits and bobs. So, you know, my, my BRB screens, my welcome screens, and the, you know, all of that is all in one folder so I know where it is. When I start up slobs, even though I've updated the original program, the original uh, file path, 
with the new progress bar it's it's written a new path file somewhere else how can i get it to use the file path i want it to use rather than the one it wants to use if that makes sense you're working off a phone and borrowed laptop right now so you've treated yourself to a free furbish pc and a couple of monitors i change it in preferences preferences where right because if i click it now right hang on it's got the original file path in there, right? Which is users sound Dropbox YouTube, and then the, the name of the, which is just progress.png. When I close this down, it is gonna go uh, library, applications, something or other, blah, 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 blah. And it, it creates a new file in this fucking folder. So this is after I close slobs itself down. If I open this again, you know, change it, change the, and it just yeah it's really annoying so how do i somewhere in slobs oh look it's doing it it's telling you what i'm playing yay i'm gonna have to have a look through then Hmm. I wonder if it's in yeah. I shall have to have a, a play with that a bit later on then see if I can figure out what it is. Yay! I have music. I completely forgot. Look, I've done the stream all this time and no music playing. Is that about the right volume? Or is it a bit loud still? Because I just thought when it's quiet, at least we'll have someone to listen to. Cool. Sounds okay to you and you've got headphones on. Anybody not got headphones on? I listen to some people and I'm like, dude, your music's too loud. I said it to Elle a couple of times. Can you up your mic a bit? Never on your TV is all right. I downloaded this like a week ago, and I've done what two, three streams since then. Completely forgot I had it. Oh, it's a nitwit. Socks on bank. Yeah. But look how pretty. Very nice. Yay, I've got music. Cool, thanks. The good thing is, is I'll get loads of this done watching the Royal Rumble. custom to at a time. I thought you were like all ready to go. I didn't know you still had one on the go. <laughs> ah well you know that 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 sometimes hinders. 
I love the little splashes of colour though that are coming up in this. I do need to do some spinning at some point. You were suffering with second sock syndrome. So you were going to be night and cut on your socks and decided to be good. Good, 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 good. I seem to have miracle of sound locked in. <laughs> Yeah, I've done it that way on, um, I knit a pair of socks um, during the last time I did a A to Z sock challenge and um, pretty sure they were my H socks and I had to work on two different set of socks because you, it was a twisted stitch pattern and there was one point where you had to move the stitch and of course you can't do that if you've got two at a time socks on. So I... Um, I ended up, thankfully I had a spare set of needles with me, I was on holiday in Italy at the time. So I worked the cuffs two at a time and then, and, and I was literally doing like round one, round two, round one, round one, round, you know, and doing like pick up ones, that, do that sock. Otherwise I would have forgotten what I was doing and I would have suffered second sock syndrome. But me. Viking yarns, merino cashmere. That sounds nice. In cherry vanilla colourway. to make some mittens because mine got mothed. I was so cross because the gloves that a friend made for me several years ago also got mothed. I was so pissed off. I kind of wish I'd saved this for mittens now, you know, that would have made lovely mittens. Wouldn't that? But they would have got grubby quick as well though, wouldn't they? So maybe, maybe it was better that I didn't. <laughs> Is this, is this matters on that you're, you're starting your new business venture?
Didn't we just have Redemption Blues? <laughs> Is it playing the same thing over and over again? Yeah, it played Redemption Blues like Song Before Last. Actually, it's finding box up. Ooh. Why is it playing the same two songs? Yarn is in, show it off. Cool, let's have a look. Ooh. So, those of you not on Discord, there it is. Ignore the comment above that ball of yarn. <sighs> if afterwards this then plays fucking Beauty Bleak by Miracle of Sound, I'm going to find another station and be convinced that Alternate only has two songs on it. starting business making sex robots and we were telling him that you couldn't make the hands on them into vagina <laughs> you shouldn't have you should you shouldn't have posted that in here now I can almost hear the gears in Matt's brain starting up from here <laughs> I did see. <laughs> Doc, I'm not paying you commission. <laughs> That's what the fuck feeling when you woke up. I bet you did. I had a really weird dream. I've been like binge watching Stargate recently. And I had a really, really weird dream that I was living in what used to be my dad's flat. Bearing in mind, like, my dad's been gone 14 years, do you know what I mean? But yeah, I was living in my dad's flat, but it was painted, it was almost Barbie pink inside. I don't know why. I don't like Barbie pink. I can't stand it. But yeah, it was painted almost Barbie pink, and I was living in there. And um, Dr. Daniel Daxton from Stargate lived next door. I have no excuse. I don't dream about you. Sorry. especially that first episode when he talks about little baby coffins in fire engine red or fog green it's playing the same two fucking songs over and over why is it doing that This is supposed to be alternative rock. Okay, so let's skip. It is, it is playing the same two songs. Let's play Chill EDM. Problems only two. Can I see the playlist? Oh no, I've got to get premium if I want that.
Oh, I'll have to have a play with it later. Oh, this is very, um, I don't call this chill. Sounds like James Bond. I've done loads, you guys. Who's the number plate in the background? It's S I O W S O. They were S I O was my fiance's initials. Um, so it's S I O were his initials, but I O W for Isle of Wight, and then S O after that. And it worked really, really well because we said when we get married, at least the number plate was going to match us both. <laughs> so, yeah. And after he passed away, um, his brother took one uh, plate and I took the other. Depends. Yeah, you know, it's it's worth checking on the DVLA website. I think he said he paid because there's a transference fee which you've got to pay, which is something stupid like eighty pounds. I think he said he only paid something like one hundred and fifty quid for that. As long as you don't want one that's you know. That's why he went for that. Because it's not technically like a personalised plate, you know. When you looked up, it was like 3k, yeah. Mum always had one, she switched her car. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people do, don't they? Yeah, the per yeah the coincidence ones are, are a lot cheaper. The Zelda 79, oh, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, if I ever get a decent car, um, you know, because I'm driving a very, very clapped out car at the moment. I'd love to get a decent car, but I just don't have the funds for it. Then um, I might ask my brother-in-law if I can contact the DVLA and, and resurrect the number plate because we scrapped the car that the plate was registered to. So I'm not quite sure what happens there, but I might get in touch with the DVLA and say, look, you know, this number plate was on a car that was scrapped in um, 2019. Is there any chance I can resurrect it somehow and transfer it to my current vehicle? And then it's in use again, which I think would be really, really nice. Your grandparents have them. You think you're getting your mum one when she gets a new car? Yeah. See, I was hoping to get a car in the new year, uh, you know, a new to me car. But um, we've got to replace a window down the road. And... Um, there's just a lot of financial shit going on the moment. I just paid the tax bill today, which is good. But, you know, there's a lot of financial stuff that I'm going to need over the next year or two, and a car ain't one of them. So, yeah, my road trip ain't happening anytime soon. But Alex has said, that's the, the son that's streaming, you guys, he has said, you know, um, he wants to get a motorbike. And, um, yeah, see, I'd, I'd actually really, really like a... Um, 
Citroen C3, you know. Nice massive boot for mum's wheelchair. Uh, yeah, no, we paid us today um, for mum's wheelchair. And um, I'd like to go on a camping trip with Daryl. So I'd like to take, you know, and, and maybe my eldest son as well. So I would need quite a bit in the way of space in the back. But my fourth child has said, well, I'd like to start learning how to ride a motorcycle. And my neighbour down the road, he, he, he rides a trike. He used to ride a bike, so he's got a bike license. He knows how to do it. He could probably help my son out. I also know a couple of other people that have ridden motorbikes that would help him, you know, advise him on what bike to get, so on and so forth. So he's going to save up for that. And he said, you know, we can share his car once he's got his bike. But it's a question of, well, how long is it going to take you to get a bike? It's probably going to be a couple of years. I kind of really need a car now, but I just don't have the money. So if anybody's got, like, five grand, you know, I could get a decent car for five grand. I have got 500 at the moment, to be honest. I'm going to be RB because I need the little girl's room. Your tip didn't help. Your £10 tip. You said buy pizza. Buy pizza. BRB. I need a B. I've got a Vauxhall Mocha X right now. I hate the delay on the automatic. Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to stick with the manual. Okay. Right, I'll be back in a sec. Um, I'll have to lose my console so you can listen to music when I... Yeah, I mean, if you want to tip, you know, a little bit more, man. <laughs> you know, another four thousand nine hundred ninety. That 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 would be really cool. I mean, I've seen a car that I want. It's that Citroen Garage. Like I said, it's five grand. Even took it for a test drive. Oh, it's lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Really liked it. Really, really liked it. Daryl liked it. My my mum didn't like it. <laughs> And I was like, you're going to ride in it like maybe once a week. You know, I was like, I don't give a shit if you like. She's like, I'm fucking paid for it. I was like, <laughs> I might ask my son to get me a loan out. Trouble is, I'm paying my son at the moment £45 a month for my phone. So I don't really know that I can afford. You spent your, more on your more than you should have on your car, but oh well. What you got? You don't have five k free at the moment. You got windows in the house to replace. Yes, yeah, Sophie. And a new roof to do this year. Why did mum? She said she wasn't one hundred percent comfortable in it, but she didn't tell me this until afterwards. 
and I said I said to her afterwards it might have been better if she'd tried to sit in the back because um, you know it's more of a bench seat in the back and she said true she said it's not like I can see where I'm going so you know I do it's not necessary for her to sit in the front but she wasn't at the time you know by the time we sort of thought about all of this she said well I can't afford to buy it until the new year i.e. now but of course my daughter's moved out so you know we're sort of kind of trying to help her financially there we need a new window in one of the rooms in the house that we rent rooms out of there's also another thing going on where we have to pay out quite a bit of money each month at the moment for the next few months so it, it, it just ain't gonna happen you know and mum's sort of like she wants i can't stand rap um she wants to convert the house so that we can rent rooms out so that basically when she dies I can just rent rooms out and I don't have to fart about doing any conversion work on it or anything like that and it's done well that all takes money so of course every time she's like oh we could do so and so and so and so turn that down a bit I'm like okay and then it's like Oh, well, I have to push the car back a little bit. I have to push the car back a little bit. And I'm like, my car ain't going to last forever, you know? Oh, you've got a jack. Very nice. But they're, aren't they costly to run? Or do you find it quite fuel economic? See, the Citroen I was looking at, it got something stupid like 49 to the gallon. I was like, oh, get that baby on the way and put my foot down. It was beautiful. I loved it. I wanted it so, so much. Yeah, it's constant at the moment. I've got a big, big drama thing going on here, which is costing a lot of money as well as a lot of stress. So. I finished paying my bank loan off in May. I might ask my son if he can get me a loan to get a semi-decent car. Because if I get a semi-decent car that's going to last me, you know, that's, you know, not going to cause me any troubles, that my mum can get in and out of easily. The other issue I've got is that my car's only a three-door, not a five-door. So, you know, when Daryl sat in the back, it's, it's just a pain. It would just be so much easier if I just got a new car. So, I'll see. Better than you thought about 40 to the garden. Oh, right. Obviously much better on the mainland. Mike works for a car rental. He drives a nice car all the time. He certainly doesn't drive. To fucking his leisure. I'll see where if you told me that a few days ago, I wouldn't have phoned South White Rentals this morning. Okay. Yeah, okay, love. Yeah, I'm probably going to call it actually because I'm getting a bit achy sitting here. So I think we'll go and raid Alex because Alex is still streaming. So hey, I seem to have quite a few viewers, which is really nice. Those of you that are lurking, fantastic. Thank you so much. Those of you that have chatted this evening, 
you guys are brill love you loads um yeah we'll do um you know stop by again it's great to have people in chat it really is i love it i hate when chat is quiet because i'm like uh i don't know what to talk about so yeah <laughs> you know come and chat to me go and chat to me hi exotic kitty i'm just going but we're about to go and raid my son so you know feel free to stick around <laughs> yeah dude i've been here for three hours and 20 minutes where have you been <laughs> been a good stream been a very good stream right let's turn the sounds off no off thank you you didn't want to get up now oh, well there you go there you go there you go that's that's why you're late um yeah um so thanks for coming in anyway <laughs> hang it back so we're gonna go raid my son um i'm not sure when i'm gonna be back online got the day or one day next week you know we'll see but yeah we're moving my daughter tuesday so i'm not sure what's happening you know with streams next week i'll get them on a cam but i do post everywhere when i'm about to go live okay so thanks very much for joining me today i really really do appreciate you all you are all fantastic there was a new follower who i can't remember who it was and i haven't got the page open so i can't see but yeah it was fab love you loads and i will see you next time let's go right